Why they use makeup to cover their flaws? I'm too stressed, man. Relax, cool, man. Right? I'm also quite curious why our skin look healthy even though we touch our skin with a dirty finger. What then? Don't touch your face. Use this hand sanitizer. Oh, thank you. Actually, our skin has its bacterial resident. The bacterial resident is a non pathogen bacteria. It also it never gives us harmful effect, but instead it gives us a benefit. Mm. And they're also a pathogen bacteria, of course. No? No. no. Are you guys are stressing over brain? Seriously? Okay guys, listen to me carefully. Whatever makeup you put on your face, uh, something like lipstick, mascara or blusher, it make you look beautiful, bling, <laughs> cute. But if you put under the microscope Actually, it's not like we expected uh, This is because of bacteria Okay uh, The example of pathogen bacteria That we have found on the makeup is Pseudomonas aeruginosa and Estrichia coli uh, Pseudomonas is an opportunity Bacterium that lives in soil, water, and even in environment like hot, hot tub and cosmetic item. Next, Estrichia coli is commonly known as E. coli. Uh, that is the name of germ or bacterium that live in the digestive tracts of humans and animals. As we know when we wear makeup, it will give us a lot of effect, such as the bad effect and the good effect. So today, I would like to talk about bad effect of makeup. <coughs> so the first side effect of makeup is formation of acne. So uh, our skin need to breathe and grow like other organ. So when we cover our face with makeup. We, uh, we also end up to clogging it. Uh, there are some type of makeup which are in the form of liquid and cream that will clog the pore. The next one is premature aging. So when we use the skin product for a longer period of time, uh, the chemical present tend to permanently damage our skin. With time, we could begin to see the uh, we could begin to see the uh, aging signs like uh, the wrinkle and patchiness. Bacteria is transferred on your product by a sudden and uncontrollable sneeze and cough while you're applying your makeup. The uh, the germ and the bacteria can be spread on the surface of the makeup. Next, the hand are always carrying the bacteria and this bacteria can be spread and transferred on your makeup product, particularly if you use your finger for the makeup application. Last but not least, we apply lipstick on lip gloss after you eat can lead the food particle or the possible bacteria to be transferred on your lipstick and that might grow a bacteria on your lipstick. There are three methods on how to kill the bacteria and gently enough not to damage your makeup. The first method that you need is a bottle of isopropyl alcohol and spray it onto your makeup. It is suitable use for your powder, makeup tools, and cream makeup. The 
second method is to clean your makeup surface such as lipstick, concealer and eyeliner with an alcohol wipe. The last method is to clean your makeup brush, your sponge with your soapy warm water.